Today, we are going to learn how to do visual effects in 360 reframe video like this. Hmm. This tutorial goes beyond just teaching you how to create superhuman speed in a 360 reframe video. We are going to touch on some very important concepts so you can create next level Instagram posts with your 360 camera. But for those impatient viewers, here is a 30 second version. Render out a ProRes or Cineform version of the 360 video from your camera, import it into After Effects. Make sure you install GoPro FX Reframe plugin first. Now cut out all the session when you are running using shortcut Ctrl Shift and D or Command Shift and D for all the Mac user out there. Right click on all the running footage, choose time, time stretch and set it to 10%. Get rid of all the gaps, drop the effects CC force motion blur on all the running footage. Now pre-comp everything and drop in GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Reframe it to follow your action. Add some advanced lighting effects, color grading it, and you are done. Piece of cake. If you know your ways around After Effects. If you don't, I break it down into details, easy to follow, step-by-step -step tutorial with some very advanced music composition techniques in 3D. So don't run yet, let's watch the full tutorial. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up, the number one YouTube channel dedicated to immersive VR filmmaking. Today, we are talking about VFX in VCC Reframe video with After Effects and the free GoPro FX Reframe plugin. If you are new to the channel, you may ask, why should I use a 3 camera for VFX? First, assuming you don't have lots of money on investing lots of cameras, a 3 camera like the GoPro Max right here is a really good budget option. You can capture the same video as the GoPro Hero 8 with great stabilization. Watch this in-depth video right here and learn about how. The true power though of a 360 camera, it is that impossible angle and style to allow you to create video that never been seen before on social media. So you can cut through the noise and be discovered. Look at artists like Cash Bunny. The videos she created on her Instagram are so amazing. And lots of it are using just a consumer 360 camera. I am not a VFX artist and my skill level is nowhere near artists like Cash Bunny or Jonathan Winbush with his work with Mix Master Mind from BC Boy. But I hope I can give you the basic knowledge and point you in the right direction. Okay, no more talking. Let's learn how to run eye flash inside Adobe After Effects. First, let me show you three different ways on how to create superhuman speed in a 360 video, from easy to more advanced. Drag and drop the GoPro Max 360 video onto the new comp icon to create a new composition. Trim the head and tails, right click and trim comp to the work area. Now we are going to cut all the moving part and the stationary part. The part that I am not moving using keyboard shortcut, Ctrl, Shift, and D. Then, right click on all the session when I am running, choose time, time stretch, and set it to 10%, or based on how fast you actually run. Select all the layers, go to animation, keyframe assistant, sequence layer, and get rid of all the gaps. Just like Premiere, there are frame blending options you can choose from right here within After Effects. If you use this one, the not optical flow blending. It has the same effect you can get from the install 360 mobile app time shift result. It is usually 8 to 10 copy of the movements, not look cinematic at all. You want to make the motion blur more cinematic by adding CC force motion blur. Now we have more copies doing the fast movement and the result looks a lot better. 
but still, I don't think there is enough copy there for super speed. We are going to add echo time effects to echo more copies of myself. Make sure you turn off CC force motion blur first, drop in the echo effects, set the echo operator to maximum, and set the numbers of echoes to 20 or 40, depends on how powerful your computer is. Adjust echo time based on how fast you run, and turn the blend mode to optical flow. Now we get this really cool super speed effects. It looks like I am doing a Nyoto run right here. It is cartoonish, but it's the exact effects we are looking for. Play with the echo operator to get the best blending based on your videos. Now for the really advanced user, let's take a look at again how Naruto run. You see cinematic motion blur instead of just random copies. Look at the result generated by CC force motion blur. We cannot really see the subject that well. So we are going to use a better third party plugin the Real Smart Motion Blur by Revision Effects. The Motion Blur plugin is 360 aware, and I use it a lot on my 3D 360 production, like right here. It is the only Motion Blur plugin that does not generate seam line. It is also GPU accelerated, so it is a lot faster than CC Force Motion Blur. Look at the result here. On the left is CC Force Motion Blur, on the right it is Real Smart Motion Blur. Real Smart looks a lot better. So we are going to render a base layer with just the real smart motion blur or CC4 motion blur if you don't want to spend extra money. And we also going to render out a version that does not have any motion blur effects, but with echo instead. Now we have three copies of the same video, one with just motion blur, one with echo maximum, and one with echo minimum. We we'll bring them all back in After Effects, drag and drop the motion blur version onto the new comps icons right here to create a new composition. As you see, the revision effects real smart motion blur plugins already generate an amazing result. You can just use that. But if you don't have real smart motion blur, we will use the echo maximum or minimum render to make it look even better. In my case, I will only use the echo maximum Drag it on top as you see some problems here as the trees and the clouds are moving as well. If you are doing this indoor, it wouldn't be a problem as everything will be static. As I only need the super speed version of my cell, I can mask out the thing that I don't need. Click here to drag and rectangular mask, click invert to cut out the sky and the trees. Just this already looks really good. It is kind of like the quick silver look instead of the flash and the sonic look. It really depends on what you go for. In here, I will make it even better. Go ahead and drop in effects defense mat on the top layer. In the defense layer, choose the bottom layer. Then you can play with the matching tolerance to get the result you want. 12% looks pretty good here. Now drop in a directional blur on the top layer. Set the direction according to your running direction and set the blur strength to your liking. Be careful as this is a 360 video, you are running in different direction and different angles. So you will need to apply different directional blur whenever you go super speed. So as you see right here, I will click Ctrl, Shift, and D to split the layers like so in all my super speed section. And apply different directional blur according to my running directions. If you unsolo all the layers, you can see the final result. As when the sonic and the flash run, the streak is brighter with color. So we can duplicate the blur layer, change the blending mode to add, throw in a curve and add some color adjustment. For sonic, set it to blue, and for the flash, set it to yellow. Copy your color adjustment to all the running layers, and now we got ourselves super speed streaks in the 360 without using any third party plugins. Great. Now select all the layers, right click and pre comp name it Super Speed 360, and this is our 360 video layers. Now it's the fun part, we are going to add GoPro FX Reframe plugin within After Effects to do composition. You are already very familiar with how to use the GoPro FX Reframe plugin following my Adobe Premiere tutorial. If you do not have a powerful computer, it is generally faster and smoother work directly inside After Effects instead of 
Premiere as GoPro FX Reframe is first and after effects plugin. Drop in the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. If you are wondering what I did here to find my effects, I installed a free FX console plugin by Video Copilot so I can easily type control and space to bring in my effects search bar to search the effects I want. It is free and it saved me time. I'll put the download link down below. So now we need to reset our composition size to the final deliver format. We are doing a 4x5 Instagram post video. Just a quick tip, if you want the best engagement on Facebook or Instagram, 4x5 format gives you the biggest size on people's phone when they scroll through their social feeds. So it is the best way to grab their attention to your amazing new 260 effects. Go to composition, composition settings, change the width to 1080p and the height to 1350p, name it Sonic Speed IG Post. Pay attention in the frame rate here. If you did not shoot this with GoPro Max, make sure to conform your frame rate to 29.97. If not, motion blur will not work in both Premiere or After Effects using the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Hit OK, go to projection, change to social 4x5. To show you how smooth this is in After Effects, click the plugin until you see the grid overlay. Move it and feel it. Very responsive. You cannot get this kind of smoothness within Adobe Premiere. First, go ahead and get rid of all the lens curve by type 70 in the lens curve settings. So now it does not look like the footage is shot on a GoPro Max anymore. More like a regular 2D camera. And that is exactly what we want to fool the viewers. Make them think you create this with your phone camera so as to make it more believable on social media. Now add keyframes right here before my run, then go to the end of my run and reframe it by dragging the footage like so. Very convenient. Hit U on the keyboard to review all the keyframes. Select them all and right click, Keyframe Assistant, ECE, try to match the camera movement with my run. Now let's make it more cartoonish or more like the TV show Flash. When they run, they create lighting. In my original Instagram post, I used red giant particulars to create the sonic lighting effects. But red giant is very expensive, so I'm going to teach you how to do it for free with native After Effects plugins, the advanced lighting. But before we add any effects onto 260 reframe videos, I want to make sure you understand a very important concept. Your 260 reframe video is in a 3D environment. You should always try to add effects in 3D space instead of a 2D. All my particles, lighting, and dust effects in my original Instagram post are all attached to a 3D node object. Even though we are not going to go that deep, I still want to show you how to create 3D node object to track any moving object inside a 360 video so you know the workflow for a more complicated special effect composition. Go to Layer, New, no object to create a no object. Make sure the no object is 3D by clicking this icon. Type P on your keyboard to bring up the position value to roughly align the starting position to my action location in the 260 video. Make sure you move the Z depth back as I start at the back of my house and run toward the camera in 3D space. You can also type R on your keyboard to bring up rotation to rotate it as well to align to my body direction. Insert keyframes on position and rotation. Move to the end, do the same to align the node object to my body. Now let's attach the lighting to my body. Create a new solid layer, drop in advanced lighting on the new layer, turn the layer into 3D, change the lighting type to strike, click all and mouse click on the origin stopwatch to open up the expression control. Drag this icon to link the origin position to the node object position. Right here, get rid of all the extra codes and just type dot to comp and reset it to 000. Now look, the lighting is looking like coming out for me. Very cool trick, huh? Now you just need to keyframe the direction following the camera pan movement to make the lighting look like coming out from my butt. Great, now I fart lighting. Now just use Ctrl Shift and D to cut only the session we go super speed. Change the setting of advanced lighting and color to your liking. For Sonic, set it to Sonic Blue. For the Flash, set it to Yellow or whatever Flash version you want to create. You know, Reverse Flash or Regular Flash. Make the Blending Mode to Screen. 
throw in a turbulent displacement and give it some movement and maybe add some wiggle expression in the connectivity state to give it some movement like so. Duplicate the same lighting layer a couple times to place it in different parts of my body and you got this. Really cool. In my original Instagram post, I also add dust, random strikes of lighting from my run wheel and some sparks. They are all going through the same process of attaching onto my body no object. You get the ideas and I will save that part to your creativity. Go crazy. You can also add color grading, post growing effects to blend the scene better and then render it out to Premiere or DaVinci Resolve for further editing with music and sound effects. Thank you for spending time with me geeking out on 360 again. Check out more of my 360 reframe videos on my Instagram right here. This tutorial is only about reframe 360 videos, but you know me, my specialty is in 360 VR videos. Besides this series on event 360 VR motion graphic with Cinema 4D and After Effects, I will also create more videos on both DaVinci Resolve Fusion and After Effects on next level VR production. Some exciting stuff are coming on Creator Up. So don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and hit the bell for notification on new tutorial or camera reviews. And I will see you next time. China is a beautiful country with incredible history. Recently, it has become known for one thing, the coronavirus. People have forgotten about the true China. The landscapes that take your breath away. The monuments that inspire awe. people who are kind and loving. 